So now in this video we're going to look at the FRM01 module here again. I have a 12 volt power supply to power it. This is a 12 volt relay. So I need a 12 volt power supply. It's The output's off right now. When it's on, if I bump this, we get kind of a spike where we lose power. So I have a capacitor on uh, the power supply side over here. There's jumpers that go across. 470 microfarad right there. That side has to be more positive. That side more negative. So the uh, relay module here is going to be controlling the uh, breadboard supply here. This is 5 volts. It's going to power the LED. So you can see we got positive there. It comes over to the non or the uh, normally open I should say switch right there. So it's open right now. It's not connected. When it connects we'll have a path to the protective resistor the LED and it will go to ground right there as you can see there. So these two are normally connected. I move the uh, jumper there since the relay is not energized we're not powering the board here now you can see that we do have a connection whereas when I turn on the power here now you're gonna see we're gonna have a countdown there's low current still nothing going on relay wise the relay kicks in it's energized now that side is off right there it's not connected the uh, normally open now is connected it is closed as you can see there, I just moved the uh, jumper back there and I uh, screwed her down and now you can see that the load is on. That's because the relay is engaged. We'll unengage it. Now it's off. So in any case, we were working with the setting at, uh, it's going to do the uh, countdown because this is the function one setting right there. What uh, the uh, manual calls function one. So it has a time period before the LED turns on. In this video we're gonna hold down the uh, set button right here. I'll uh, zoom in and while we're setting it the relay's gonna shut off so the LED will go out. I turn the lights down because it's uh, the camera's not picking up the display with the light on. I can't see the light or the display really easily in person even with the light on. So in any case we can either go there, you can go up to 18. Uh, this is the the uh, SW1 pin. So we're gonna go up, this one's up, and this one's down, the one on the right. Sorry, I didn't realize you couldn't see that. So this one's down, that one's up. So we go up to four, and actually three. We want three, and then we're gonna look at the time so we got uh, five right there and five there we're gonna use both of these numbers in fact let's change them so it's clear so so we're hitting set we'll go down to a uh, four for that one and then we will hit set again and go up to six for that one if we wanted 16 we can hit this button or a hundred and six a thousand and six whatever we want to do we can also hold this down you see there's a decimal point so now it's 0.6 and we could go to a 1.6 but uh, in any case we're just gonna go to a 6 there and I haven't learned what this does yet but uh, so now what's gonna happen is it's gonna wait four seconds to turn on and then after six seconds it's gonna turn off because we are on three so I gotta hold down the uh, set button and now it's timing down because it just reset so now it's on it's engaged you can see the current from there and uh, that's it that's what 3 does so we can uh, turn the power off and on this is what will happen right when you turn the power on or when you're done setting the module as we just saw there's also this jumper connected directly to the positive rail we can give a 12 volt signal so it's high to the channel 1 CH1 pin right there and uh, usually you would have a wire screwed in and you would just give a pulse a signal but uh, you can also just take this jumper and touch the screw these screws are electrically connect connected to the uh, wires that are coming in 
And uh, so that is what function three does. So I'm gonna do a video probably on every single function. This one was on three and it's pretty straightforward. If you want an LED constantly on, then you would go to the normally closed one. And if you did that, it would be on until it got done counting down and then it would turn off for this period of time. The LED would be doing the opposite. So you got to decide when you want the relay on and off in relationship to your load. Also, we're just switching right here. That's all it's doing, switching on or off. It has nothing to do with the rest of what's going on. You can use a separate power supply. This one has to be 12 volts for the module. That's what it's made for. You can go higher up to, I think, 125 volts at uh, 10 amps uh, maximum because of the relay. But again, who knows, you know, if you can actually obtain that, but that's what they claim. And uh, so you can also go, I think, to 30 volts DC. So that was 120 uh, AC, basically, and 30 volts DC at uh, 10 amps. That's what they claim. And uh, that's pretty high, though, I would stay below that. But in any case, always consult the data sheet for any components you use. I have this on the uh, bubble wrap, I'll mention again, because we have pins down here underneath there. So I don't want them to fall into the uh, slots under the board. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out one of these other videos that I'm posting. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell. I will see you in the next video.